Hello, and welcome back to the Global Summit. I'm Diana Kleins, Executive Director of the American Association of Kidney Patients. It's my honor to lead this special AKP Awards presentation where we are recognizing two outstanding individuals for excellence. And by doing so, we are specifically honoring the theme and purpose of this global summit. That is up to us as, as the kidney community to impact global and community health outcomes. You heard this theme directly yesterday from the Dean of the George Washington School of Medicine and Health Sciences, Dr. Barbara Bass, AKP President Ed Hickey, and our Global Summit co-chairs, Dr. Dominic Raj and Paul Conway. This year, we tailored our Medal of Excellence to honor this theme to recognize professionals who are making global and community impacts. The Medal of Excellence is one of AAKP's highest honors for kidney healthcare professionals who have been in the forefront of advancements in kidney care and patient empowerment. The award recognizes professionals who are committed to respecting the dignity of all kidney patients while working to improve and extend their lives through advocacy, research, technology, and quality-driven treatments that fully align with their aspirations. This prestigious award program recognizes a variety of professionals within the healthcare team, including nurses, nephrologists, transplant surgeons, transplant professionals, social workers, dietitians, and dialysis technicians. Today, during our global summit, I am pleased to recognize the 2023 honorees in the nursing category for excellence in global and community nursing and the respective impacts. Our first honoree is Pamela Hoyt Hudson. Pamela has a very distinguished career of leadership which has impacted nursing, healthcare systems, and patients at a global level. Her work and commitment to the value and health of every life has taken her to over 25 countries and fueled her passion and expertise in collaborative approaches to healthcare as a tool for elevating patients and decision-making and improving health outcomes. She is known for her deep compassion and empathy for patients and people living in some of the most medically underserved regions of the world and has a keen sense of how timely innovations can positively impact people. She is an editor of the book, Problem Solving for a Better Health, a Global Perspective, and has co-authored numerous publications. She has served as the Global Nursing Director at the Dreyfus Health Foundation. Her goal of empowering people to develop and advance local health initiatives was fundamental to the Dreyfus program, no matter the locale. She has also previously served as the Vice President of the Dreyfus Health Policy and Research Center, which focused on the development and implementation of innovative models and public policy advancing health, disease prevention, and improved management of chronic conditions. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Pamela up to the podium to accept her award and share her thoughts. Thank you, Diana, for the generous introduction and to all at AAKP. I am deeply honored and humbled to be a recipient of this most distinguished award from the Global Summit on Kidney Disease Innovations and AAKP. I would like to take a moment to recognize the people who have had and continue to have a tremendous impact on me and my global mission over the years. First and foremost, I would like to recognize the people who live with kidney disease and chronic illness and their respective care partners, families, and organ donors. You are teaching me and other medical professionals about the burdens of kidney disease and what matters to you every day as you pursue your dreams and aspirations. Your voices and unique lived experiences are informing new medical innovations, care models, and driving policy change. Your contributions are both highly valuable and immeasurable. Second, 
I would like to recognize the heroic healthcare workforce on the front lines delivering care in difficult times, including a global pandemic. Thank you for your steadfast commitment to serve people, improve care, and share your knowledge. I would especially like to acknowledge my fellow nurses. You continue to inspire me with your innovative and practical solutions to healthcare challenges in all corners of the globe. Your shared resolve and selfless dedication to saving life and providing comfort gives us great hope. You remind each of us that answering the call to care for others is one of the noblest actions a person can undertake. Third, I would like to acknowledge the community at large, governmental and non-governmental entities, health advocates, nonprofits, business leaders, industry, and many other members of society, as it takes a collaborative and multi-sectoral effort to move the needle to improve health and kidney health care, no matter where you live in the world. I know that to some listening today, the concept and practical aspects of collaboration in medicine and innovation seems hard to fathom, let alone execute. And I can tell you that it is very hard work, especially in nations that discourage empowerment and advocacy. But I can also tell you that building substantive collaborations is worth every ounce of effort. They have the demonstrated capacity to improve the health and lives of people, especially those who suffer in silence and who are far too often overlooked and marginalized. Their lives are as important as any other life, even when challenges of chronic disease like kidney disease are pervasive. I witness the power of health collaborations and their impact on patient lives from Brooklyn, New York to Bulgaria, from the US affiliated Pacific Islands to India, Peru, Zambia, and beyond. Finally, I would like to show my deep appreciation to all my mentors professional and personal, who have been key advisors over the past several decades, including my community health nursing professor who supervised me during a patient home visit in Southeast DC back in 1985. The late Jan Donahue taught me the importance of listening to the person, the community, empowering and elevating people to accomplish their goals and preserving human dignity along the way. I am so very pleased that George Washington University Hospital and the team at the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences are expanding their operations to this part of our nation's capital. I continue to learn from each and all of you, and I will be forever grateful. We are present today at the AAKP Global Summit because we all share an important mission. Let us unite for better health and health care for all people, more kidney disease prevention, early detection, and management of kidney disease and increased access to optimal treatment modalities. To the professionals listening, let us renew our determination to honor the value of caring for the whole person, cura personalis, and serving the common good. And to patients listening, please remember this. Never underestimate your potential to impact the future of kidney care within your own country 
and the world. Everyone's involvement is needed now more than ever to positively promote change, especially during the decade of the kidney. Thank you. Thank you, Pamela. We are so very pleased to recognize the impact you have had on patients across the world. Now, I'd like to recognize our next Medal of Excellence honoree for excellence in nursing, Ms. Janae Thompson. Janae is a post-transplant coordinator for the George Washington Transplant Program at the George Washington Hospital and is making an outstanding impact on community health. AAKP has had a long association with the GW Hospital, and AAKP leadership is very proud of the work we did to raise public and patient interest in helping secure the certificate of need for this new transplant center for the residents of the District of Columbia and surrounding region. Janae has been a registered nurse since 2019 as a proud graduate of the Howard University Division of Nursing with a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. She began her career as a cardiac step-down nurse, caring for patients with heart failure, including those awaiting life-saving transplants. Janae understands the journey of transplant patients extremely well and the great stress both patients and families feel. She is deeply understanding and compassionate, and we know that from her patients. During her short time at GW, she has already become an integral and indispensable part of patient care through her dedication, attention to detail, and profound knowledge. Her supervisors have stated that beyond caring, she loves her patients and has impressed everyone through her patient-centered care and professional manner. She goes above and beyond in her performance of her duties and responsibilities. She is a tireless patient advocate and has shown initiative in developing processes to enhance the care of her community's transplant patients and is constantly strives to improve the patient experience as well as the clinical outcomes. This is the very definition of making a community impact. Janae has shared with AAKP that her inspiration for becoming a nurse started from her Nana a fellow former nurse who always taught her to be kind and take care of the people around her. And she will continue to uphold those virtues to be the best nurse and person she can be. Janae, please join me at the podium to accept your award and share your thoughts. Well, hello everybody, my name is Janae Thompson. I have the pleasure of being the post-kidney transplant coordinator here at George Washington University. I would like to thank the AAKP as well as GW for um, considering me for this award. Um, I would like to start off by thanking the nephrology service, which includes our wonderful surgeons, nephrologists, um, nurses, administrative and clinical staff for this position and for having me here today. I would like to start by thanking my family, my parents, and my Nana, as previously stated, have had a tremendous impact on my character and where I am today in life. Since my time here at GW in 2019, I have continued to learn, I'm sorry, in 2022, I've continued to learn the importance of the patient to provider relationship. My experiences have led me to, you know, develop such close, loving relationships with my patients. I truly care for them and do whatever I can to take care of them. I have to thank our entire disciplinary team. So starting from the pre-transplant side, uh, we have an incredible team of outreach who goes out into the community and educates and uh, develops um, relationships uh, to, I'm sorry, uh, to educate on um, the possibility of transplant for people who have diabetes, hypertension, kidney failure leading into transplant. I also have to thank our pre-transplant team and the work that they do 
to um, evaluate and list patients for transplant, as well as our donor navigators who go out and find donors to donate to living um, related or unrelated recipients. My goal for our patients um, is that they continue to be champions for their own health. Um, at GW, we really focus on patient-centered care, but I hope that all patients will continue to understand that they have a lot of power, um, they must advocate for themselves so that they can continue to advocate for the future of kidney transplant. I look forward to continuing to see our patients reach new milestones, whether it be reaching five years post-transplant, becoming parents, grandparents, graduating college. We get to see patients through all different stages of their life, and it's incredibly heartwarming to see them reach new milestones. Um, I look forward to continuing to work with GW as well as the AAKP, and I thank our nephrology service for this opportunity, and I hope everybody continues to be blessed. Thank you. Thank you, Janae, and thank you again, Pamela. Both of you exemplify the best in nursing. We are thrilled to name you both as 2023 Medal of Excellence honorees as you join an elite group of healthcare professionals who have received this award. We are proud to celebrate you and your career achievements.